hello friends today i am going to tell you how to create this model in surfacing and i am going to use uh, breeze curve to create this surface and inside the surface to fill it so let's start with the annex surfacing and assume the missing dimension if any so let's start so first i am going to select this front plane and i am going to start with two lines and match this to the origin and align this point with the vertical axis now I'm going to assign the dimension as 42 and this dimension is 28 and the distance is 72 now select the arc and arc is starting from here to here and click and the radius is 50 50 is the radius and I'm going to mirror it click here and select this mirror I want to mirror this curve and my center line is this one okay okay just finish it and I'm going to use this and side surface to fill it okay and now select this offset and this is 20 so I'm going to offset the surface at 10 and 10 in reverse side now hide this middle one okay now we have to create this outer surface for that I'm going to use bridge surface so bridge and my first edge is this and second edge is this Okay, it is matching but we have to change it to tangent and tangent on the other side and reverse it see this will come apply and the same way I am going to do here first and second edge and flip the first one apply and now at bottom I have this curve and this curve and it is creating a tangent so keep it position on both side it will match okay and now I'm going to use extrude surface so select this extrude and here it is single and select first curve and my direction is Z C Z is my direction click 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 and this distance is this distance is 96 minus 72 is 24 so enter 24 and apply okay now again I'm going to use a bridge to fill it so here we have the shortcut of this bridge apply this and this and okay now I'm going to create a plane at uh, 112 so click this and from bottom this plane is offset at 121 millimeter away select this plane and create a new sketch and here we have two circle from this center and the circle is 17 in dia and second one is 9 on the same center finish First, I'm going to use this extrude, this outer one, reverse the direction and up to the next. And make sure it should be a surface. And same, I'm going to do with this one. And this should be a sheet. And this gap is 15, so change it to 15. Apply. And to fill it, I have this, this curve and this curve. so here it is position okay no sorry no need to click this just apply and hide this plane and this curve again i'm going to offset 10 so my last plane is this and offset 215 15 plus 10 is 25 so change it to 25 okay and here I'm going to create a 
circle okay the circle is 14 and that finish and hide this and uh, use this through curve my first curve is this and second curve is this and by default it is like this and change it to sheet and I am going to apply the tangent from this surface see now both are same okay only this fillet is remaining for this fillet I am going to use face fillet and here we have the face blind and my first face is this and second face is this okay and the 5 is the radius radius is not given here so I am taking this as a 5 now hide this and from surfacing I am going to sew this sew all the surface so all will combine here we have one problem this is fill here okay so first we have to trim so here we have trim sheet I am going to cut this with this curve and see the result whether it is cut yes now okay now I am going to see all the surface and okay now my single surface is here and if you want to apply some material and color so we have here color and from true shading we can assign any color 